All right, so one last thing is if you need to change any of the caller's information, such as their, um, their address or even their name or their phone number, when you open up that contact, here I am, the primary contact, and this happens to be myself. So if I want to change any of this, let's say I want to change the um, billing address. I can click this pencil on the right, and this opens up everything for me. I can, I can uh, change the names, formal greeting. Um, I can put in the, the uh, change the street address. And all of these gifts are irrelevant. There's not going to be any gifts uh, accounted for in this system. But all of that is right there. And you could also do household phone, etc. I can just go, go backward to myself again here. Um, if I wanted to change any of the phone information, again, I could just click this little guy right here. I can add an email right there for him. And just remember, after you've added or changed anything, at the bottom, you need to be sure to click Save. And it'll be there. Now, a time when you might want to um, ask for something, let's say that Pastor has uh, printed up a list of healing scriptures, prosperity scriptures, and so forth, to send out. Um, if he's done that, then you can begin to to say, hey, you know, we just prayed for you for healing and pastor would like to send you some healing scriptures. Could you provide your mailing address? And if they provide it, then of course we need to send them that those scriptures. So that's something that um, I'm pretty sure pastor wants to work into. I don't know that he has it already yet, but your prayer line directors will um, uh, speak with him and, and know when that's available and, and let you know. So, um, so that's it.